Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Whoa, hold on. Is that? Wow. Okay. You you like that, Solo? Jesus Christ. Hold on. This is what? <laughs> hey, my cap is on the all time high right now. What's good, you? What the fuck? Hold on. To call it a day and go I'm a pop on my pill for the road So they say please don't leave me What's good YouTube? It's your boy Cello Dope. Hey look V, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know what I'm finna direct. I just pulled up the fucking TV. I mean screen. Oh no, I'm, I know what I can react to. I'm finna react to uh The Chosen One. Yes, the Chosen One. Uh Frank Kaminsky video. I think it was uh, me and my homie uh, Dave. He was talking about Frank Kaminsky. That's Dave. I was like, where that nigga went? I remember when he was in college, everybody was like, he's going to be the next Dirk and this, that, and the other. Hey, where are you? What the fuck? Where are you? So you can't look at that shit. Let me look at that shit. <laughs> they be hard, my boy, view, though. Just a couple of years ago, if you were watching college basketball, then you should already know who Frank Kaminsky is. During his Wisconsin days, this dude was really a problem to every team he was facing up against. Even though that he was a center, that didn't really limit his game. He was just unstoppable. If you left him open, he was knocking down threes. He also had a quick first step, so he was just blowing by his defenders. And right, what, ha the what happened to him? Don't even get me started about his post game. If he was able to back you down into the pain, it was just an automatic. It was cold as hell. There was nothing you can do about it. He will forever be a legend. Ain't at the 15 Sam Decker or something like that? But unfortunately, we can only dwell on the past for so long. If you didn't know already, Frank Kaminsky was selected in the 2015 NBA draft. But we don't really hear about him dominating on the court like he once did. With his all-around play style, it really seemed like he would be able to adjust to the NBA easily. What happened to Frank Kaminsky's basketball career? The chosen one, nigga. What the fuck is he talking about? What's good, Super everybody? Game. Welcome back. Y'all know I always gotta show love to my subscribers. So quick shout out to my boy Trey Israel. You've been supporting the channel for about a year now. I remember all my day one supporters for real. And yeah, I do be hooping. So if I see any of these basketball YouTubers in real life, I need my 1v1 ASAP. But if you want to be shouted out in my next video, all you got to do is follow me on my social medias and leave a comment down below. That's it. And make sure y'all stick around to the end of the video because I'll be featuring some of the hottest upcoming rappers. I'll be finding the you a Scorpio? Up for real. But enough of all that talking. Let's get into this video. That's why, that's, hey, that's why we get along. <laughs> Even though Frank Kaminsky was basically the face of college basketball, he just wasn't always that big man on campus. He really had to build himself from the ground up. It all started back in his high school days. He played for this AAU team Why called so close the to the screen? World. He was about the same size that he is now, which is seven foot. And he felt he had an overall pretty decent feel for the game. But unfortunately, the AAU coach wasn't feeling the same. Right before the first tournament, the coach had to let him know that he didn't make the final roster. He would just be a practice dummy, basically. How? While the rest of the team got into the van to go to their first tournament, Frank Kaminsky just went back to his dad's he car cried. after being humiliated in front what of everybody and basically being called trash. He just cried the whole car ride home. If you want a visual of the scene, it kind of went like this. <laughs> this nigga put actual footage. What the fuck? What the hell? He gonna cry in the car. He's saying gonna cry in the car. This public humiliation was the best thing that could have ever happened to him. That humbling moment really just made him want to work on his game some more. Being tall. It be hella weak niggas who tall and ain't got no skill when it comes to hooping, bro. Like, damn. Give me your height. I would have. Uh, hey. Kyrie some shit, man. Come on. Give me your height. I would have be going. I would be. I swear to God, I would be going crazy, bro. Oh, just wasn't enough so he locked himself in the dungeon and he just got into grind mode and hard work pays off because by the time he was a senior in high school he became so good that his high school decided to retire his jersey <laughs> so all my young hoopers that's trash right now he should be living proof that if you put the work in you won't be as trash as you once were they go it's all evolving man he signed to play at Wisconsin, and his freshman year was the 2011 through 2012 season 
He played in most of the games, but his role had been demoted from top player to just the role player, which is completely normal. My fault, my fault. I had a phone call, my guy. <laughs> Skill. He was coming off the bench, and during <clears> his first two years, he was only averaging about three points and two rebounds. It was tough for him, considering the fact that he went from a being a high school star. Now he was barely playing. But unlike most people, he didn't complain. He just waited for his time to shine, and by his junior year, he just blew up out of nowhere. Literally, no one could have seen this coming. He came out the gate hot because during one literally of nobody saw this. Games, right. He broke the school record by scoring 43 points. He just couldn't miss. He shot 16 of 19 on the How, floor. What happened to him for real? Six threes. He started off that season strong, and he finished strong. During March Madness, he helped his team defeat the number one seed in Arizona. He put up 28 points and 11 Flop! Rebounds. Look at that flop! His performance led them to the Final Four. They ended up losing that year, but they came back even stronger his senior season. By this time, he had boosted his stats up to 19 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists a game. In all the games that Frank Kaminsky played in, Wisconsin had a 36-3 and record. They were now the team to beat. And this year was historical for college basketball. 36 and 3 year when Kentucky went on that undefeated 38-0 win streak all the way into March Madness. That team was stacked that year. They had Carl Anthony Tyler Tyler Uless, Devin Booker, Devin Booker? Tyler Uless, the Harrison Twins, and Willie Cauley Stein. But Frank Kaminsky was. Why, wait, what? Why, was I not watching basketball? Why don't Why don't I remember this? Tyler Uless, Devin Booker, Cat, and Willie Cauley Stein. Willie Cauley Stein a bitch, bro. That demo. He bitch. During the Final Four, they played against each other. And Frank Kaminsky put up 20 points and 11 rebounds and escaped with the W. It was just amazing to see his evolution throughout his all four years. He just continued to work on his game, and it all paid off. Those were considered his glory days, but now it's time to move on to the NBA, where it all matters. Back in 2015, he was selected ninth overall pick to the Charlotte Hornets. Now, that was a pretty good fit for him, because the Hornets are a rebuilding team. He already showed he is willing to put in the work to get better. And plus, Al Jefferson was battling injuries, and he was towards the end of his career. So it really gave him the opportunity to come in and play right away. Shine bright like a diamond. A couple of games where he scored 50 <clears throat> plus, but his fans felt that over his past four years in the league, he just hasn't been consistent. Coming in his rookie year, he put up eight points and five rebounds a game. He ugly as hell. In his second and third year, he actually boosted his numbers up a little bit to 12 points and five rebounds. But now, during this recent 2018 through 2019 season, he just dropped back down to eight points a game. So some people have been really skeptical of what his potential is. But I really think he just needs some more time. That's all. As of now, he just signed a two-year deal with the Phoenix Suns. They have a lot of young talent, so I really don't know no what to hope. So we just going to have to wait and see. Peace. Hi right, man, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Wait, what? I'm gonna fuck up the outro. Thanks for coming through. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. You mess with me, so I mess with you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go follow me on all social media. Tello dope on Instagram. Tello underscore dope on Snapchat and Twitter. Tello dope on Facebook. Fucking give me videos to react to. Uh. Feels in my feels, yeah, they rotting my brain. Hennessy, wash all my thoughts down the drain. That's just a sad side, make a bitch kiss my rollie. Hit us that when you win, so I'm a I'm moving slow. I should call it a day and go. I'm a pop, I'm a pill for the road. Shorty say, please don't.